Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jamal Kinney from Hazard Jordans and today I'm going to be covering underbalanced drilling. In the previous video we talked about overbalanced drilling where the uh, wall bore pressure is higher than the bow pressure and lower than the fracture pressure. If you want to check that out, please go ahead right here. Um, so in underbalanced drilling you have the wall bore pressure intentionally lowered below the bow pressure. That means that the fluids, the, the pressure of the fluids in the rocks are higher than the pressure of the well bore which means that any uh, formation that you're drilling drilling through uh, any fluids in that formation will go into the annulus up to the surface into a four phase separator so separators by their names they separate matters so uh, the four matters here since it's a four phase separator you have the two phase separator which uh, se separates oil from gas you have the three phase separators uh, which were uh, oil gas and water and you have the four phase separator which uh, yeah it, so water oil gas and the solids the cuttings that were transported up to the surface with the mud or by the mud via the mud talk about the advantages we'll talk about the disadvantages after just a little while and then we'll uh, sum it up uh, with some uh, good candidates for uh, underbalancer the first advantage is the prevention or significant reduction in um, formation damage caused by the uh, drilling mud because the drilling mud is no longer invading the formation around it because it's underbalanced the pressure of the oil bore is lower than the formation pressure so there is no invasion of mud going into the formation. It's the other way around. The formation is going. Uh, the formation fluids are going into the well bore. Thus, there is no formation damage caused by the drilling mud, since it's a light mud that doesn't invade the formation. So what I mentioned in the previous video about overbalanced drilling, where that you have a damage zone or a invasion zone, and then a transition zone and then a reversion zone, that doesn't exist in underbalanced drilling. In underbalanced well bores or around uh, underbalanced well bores and this reduction in formation damage means that your initial production is more because there is no formation damage and your ultimate recovery if you do it right can be higher than if you do it with overbalanced drilling another reason or another advantage to use uh, underbalanced drilling is increasing the penetration rate uh, or rate of penetration uh, and thus increasing the bit life as well uh, because there is less confining pressure so what is confining pressure the easiest way to understand what confining pressure is you know what the hydrostatic pressure is so the confining pressure is the hydrostatic pressure plus the overburden pressure of the rocks if we assume this uh, plastic is the rock which doesn't make sense but you get the point <laughs> so it's the weight of this uh, plastic plus so the weight of this plastic is called the overburden pressure so the weight of this plastic plus the weight of the water and that's the pressure why am I explaining this I'm explaining this because the overbalanced uh, drilling operation have uh, high density mud which means the um, overburden pressure or the over, or the confining pressure is higher than the formation pressure so you are increasing the confining pressure on the rocks that you are drilling so having that uh, high conf uh, confining pressure means that it's harder for the bit to crush the rocks but in underbalanced drilling your uh, drilling mud is lighter so it's easier to crush the rock to um, scrape the rock to scratch the rock it's it's all easier because the confining pressure is less so that's why um, the bit life is higher and the rate of penetration is higher because it's easier to crush these rocks because of less confining pressure i hope that makes sense because i i spend a lot of time <laughs> researching this topic in particular because it's i want to understand everything that i'm telling you guys about and some things um, I wasn't taught so I have to kind of look around Google look around some databases and I did and I found this and it's a, uh, from a very respectable source I will uh, link it in the description uh, in the description if you want to read the whole thing the third advantage is that there is no mud cake because there is no 
uh, invasion of mud. There is no filtrate going into the formation, so there is no also there is that means that there is no differential sticking. The pipe doesn't go to one way and stuck to the uh, get stuck to the mud uh, cake because there is no mud cake and there is also no um, differential sticking that uh, makes the pipe go to one side because everything is pushing equally hopefully uh, into uh, the annulus and on the drill pipe annulus drill pipe annulus drill pipe let's continue the fourth advantage is uh, you have the ability to detect hydrocarbon hydrocarbons instantly as you're drilling uh, because you're continuously producing as you're drilling that means that maybe hopefully maybe i don't know you will be drilling and as you're drilling you'll get some oil show um, from formations that you didn't think there was oil in and in overbalance drilling you wouldn't have that because you'll always have pressure on the formation so there's no going uh, fluids or uh, formation fluids going into the annulus so you're not detecting anything you can't you're you don't have that instant communication with the reservoir um, fluids wise uh, pressure wise you would i think with some uh, testing but um, in underbalance drilling um, you have that oh there is a show and yeah uh, continuously producing also means that it's easier to do formation testing to have that can as i said connection with the formation so the testing you, you have a better uh, formation evaluation capabilities. Let's talk about some good candidates for uh, underbalance drilling. The first good candidate is um, formations that were already depleted or wells that were already depleted with uh, overbalanced methods, but uh, overbalanced uh, methods are no longer um, economical. A bad candidate, however, is a high pressure um, formation. You, you wouldn't want to have a 3000 psi uh, differential <laughs> pressure because your whole uh, drill string will be destroyed with that pressure you, you would need to have a fairly low yeah, reservoir pressure formation um, to not get that pop into your <laughs> bottom line assembly the second possible candidate for uh, underbalance running is mud loss prone formation so formations that are prone to mud loss because of um, let's say high hydraulic fracturing uh, sorry high uh, natural fractures which means that as you're drilling with overbalanced drilling you will always get mud loss so you would use underbalanced drilling to not have that mud loss thus you'll or you'll always be producing and as i said you have a separator and everything is good we have some disadvantages and the first one that relates to what, what I just said is from day one you have to have the capability, the surface capabilities to produce at maximum flow of oil which means that you would need to buy some expensive equipment, you would need to hire some expensive equipment. Another disadvantage is fluid influx. Um, it's an advantage and a disadvantage um, but th let's break it down. So. I said it's an advantage because it gives you connection to the well bore. Uh, it uh, you can get some oil show, early oil show, um, epic oil show. Um, but also, it's also a disadvantage because let's say the fluid isn't oil. Uh, let's say the fluid is uh, water, for example. You have two possible problems uh, with water influx into an underbalanced well bore. The first one is the obvious one which is um, or, uh, water building up in the well bore which means that the hydrostatic pressure of the drilling mud is getting higher and your underbalanced well bore will be an overbalanced well bore because of the excess water. The second one if you have a good uh, lifting capability of the drilling mud, uh, the, the underbalanced drilling mud, um, maybe the water influx into the annu annulus um, in the open hole section uh, would encounter shale formations and what did we say about shale formations you have shale swelling when uh, the shale is contacted by water 
she swelling would lead to a well ball collapse and it's easier to collapse a underbalanced well ball because it's underbalanced the pressure of the annulus is less is lower than the formation pressure so the pressure would always be exerting pressure on the annulus so shell swelling would <laughs> would be devastating in an overbalanced um, in an underbalanced wall ball another management type uh, disadvantage i'd call it is it's more expensive um, it has high risk uh, yes the penetration rate is higher yes the best life is uh, greater maybe your operators aren't experienced enough in that regard in underbalanced drilling uh, maybe you would need some new employees that means cha-chings uh, more cha-chings to be paid uh, and also a higher risk means that maybe your NPV your net present value wouldn't be higher uh, compared to overbalanced trading and that uh, pretty much sums up uh, the general idea of underbalanced drilling i hope it was useful i hope it was clear and um, if it was not please let me know in the comment section below uh, like subscribe and all that nonsense and hopefully uh, you'll see me guys in the next one talking about gas based ones hey everyone.